Hey everybody, welcome to Virtual World Turtle Day at Discovery Park of America. My name is Lindsay Bowie and I'm the wildlife educator here and today, even though you can't be here, we're still going to celebrate World Turtle Day in the best way we know possible. So today we're going to be talking about several different things. We're going to talk about turtle diets, turtle anatomy, and we're even going to meet some of the turtles that we have here at Discovery Park that live here. Um, so in general, turtles will eat almost any kind of organic matter, including plants and animals. And um, there are a few different factors that determine what they'll eat. That has to do with where they live, what kind of jaw and beak shape they have, um, as well as what's available to them in their environment. So this little guy's a red-eared slider. His name is Bernie. Um, get a little bit closer here to Bernie. And red-eared sliders will actually eat almost anything that they can find that is available. So they are semi-aquatic. They live in water and come out on land. And they will eat just about anything plant and animal-wise. So he'll eat a variety of different things. So this was just one of the turtles that we have here at Discovery Park. And we're going to go see a few more. So let's go meet one of our other turtles named Fiona. So now we're at our spiny soft shell turtle, Fiona. And Fiona is mostly a carnivorous turtle. Um, so they eat mostly meat, but they will resort to eating plant material occasionally. Mostly they're gonna eat things like insects, worms, fish, mollusks, and crayfish because they have an extremely flat and powerful jaw that allows them to um, crush those things open. And if you ever come to the park and get to see Fiona eat, she usually puts on a show. She likes to swim around a lot and dance in front of the crowd, so she's really fun to watch. So that was our spiny soft shell turtle. And next we're gonna move on to the box turtle and find out what they like to eat. So we just met Fiona, an aquatic turtle, and now we've moved on to a terrestrial turtle named Woody, and he's an Eastern box turtle. So Woody has a couple of adaptations that help him live on land instead of in water like Fiona. And one are his really sharp claws, so those are gonna help him get around on the land. And this turtle is omnivorous and will eat several different things, including plants and animals. Um, and a really cool adaptation that helps him with that is his beak. So that really sharp point that's on the front of his face helps him pull apart all of his different food that he'd like to eat. Now he will eat several different things. He likes to eat um, insects, he'll eat fruits and veggies, he likes to eat worms and snails, um, and a lot more, including carrion, which is actually just dead animal material. So uh, he'll eat a whole lot of different things um, that he can find on land. So that was Woody, and we're gonna move on to our next scene. Our red-eared slider, our spiny soft shell, and our eastern box turtle, and discuss what they like to eat. And we're at our final turtle about diets and that is our common snapping turtle and this common snapping turtle's name is Bowser and snapping turtles are omnivorous they'll eat several different things including fish small mammals birds insects amphibians even snakes and worms but they actually also eat a plethora of plants and about one-third of their diet is made up of plant material here at Discovery Park Bowser likes to eat several different things and that includes two different types of fish and what we call snapper cubes. So those cubes are made up of greens, including kale, also bananas, um, pellets that provide vitamins and nutrients, and gel that helps hold all of that together. So all of that gets blended up into this mixture and put into an ice cube tray so that they can be frozen. And about 15 minutes before we get ready to feed them, we thaw them out so they're a little bit easier for them to eat. Now, we feed our snapping turtle using this tool right here called a parahemostat. So I'll actually grab the food and put it in front of Bowser and she'll get ready to eat it, which is what we're gonna do next. We're actually gonna go feed Bowser now. joining us for Turtle Takeout on Virtual World Turtle Day here at Discovery Park of America where we talked about a lot of different diets of the turtles that we house here at Discovery Park. Um, and when we do reopen, we encourage you all to come visit our turtles in our regional gallery here. And let's see what our next activity is for the day. Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Gibson here at Discovery Park of America. Thanks for joining us on this Virtual Turtle Day. And today I'm going to teach you how to make your own little piggy bank. Like so. All right, so here's all what we need. We're going to need some construction paper. We're going to need you a two liter bottle. We're going to need you some scissors, some markers, some tape, and of course, some money to put in the piggy bank. So first things first, we're going to take our two liter bottle. Uh, now parents, this is where you come in. I've already made a cut on here. Uh, it's probably better for you to do this than the kiddos. Uh, so I've got my cut made and then I'm going to take my scissors and finish it up. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna set that over to the side. Now that we have our top of our turtle shell here, we're gonna trace out our outline. So you're gonna get you a piece of construction paper or felt, whatever you have laying around the house. I'm gonna take you a marker and we're just gonna trace the edges. Okay, so we got our, our nice circle-esque shape. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our fins and our face. Okay, and now it's time to cut it out. All right, everyone, now that you have your turtle cut out, next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our faces on it, uh, do some details. So my turtle is a happy turtle for World Turtle Day. Draw his fins on. Now you can do this however you want to. There's all different kinds of turtles, sea turtles, uh, tortoises, all sorts of things you can draw inspiration from. All right, so the next thing we do is we have our turtle shell. Uh, parents, I went ahead and cut a hole in the back to put the coins in, so you might want to do that as well. All right, you're going to set that down, uh, then we can decorate our turtle shell. Let's see, I want to do this part blue. Little circle in the middle. You can do whatever you want to here. Okay. All right, and so now we take our tape. We're going to tape the shell to the turtle. Let's see, we have our turtle piggy bank. Now what I suggest doing is after you collect a good amount of money, uh, you can use these funds to donate to a lot of different wildlife reserves or other foundations that, that help save the turtles. Uh, so World Turtle Day, we're all about bringing awareness to those, uh, those, uh, those issues and talking about conservation. Uh, so make your turtle piggy bank. Thanks for joining us for World Turtle Day virtually online. Uh, and we hope to see you here at Discovery Park soon. This is our final activity for Virtual World Turtle Day here at Discovery Park of America, and we will be discussing turtle anatomy. So I do have a special guest out for this program, and this is Michelle, another eastern box turtle. So you met Woody earlier, and this is the same type of turtle. Um, and Michelle's doing a pretty good job at showing why they are called box turtles, and that's because they can close completely like a cardboard box, and that helps them in the wild to defend against predators, and they're actually able to do that because of their anatomy. So right here on the bottom of Michelle's shell, this is called the plastron, and on her plastron she has a hinge that allows her shell to open and close, just like a door hinge lets the door open and close. This lets her shell move, so she can actually tuck her entire body up into her shell, including her legs, head, and her tail, and close completely. So on top of Michelle, this big part of the shell that most people see whenever they're crawling around out in the wild is called the carapace and the carapace and the plastron are connected right here on the side with what's called the bridge. So the bridge is similar to what we use a bridge for. Our bridges connect a road to another road. This connects the top shell to the bottom shell. The entire shell is made up of what's called scoots. So each one of these is called a scoot. And even right here along the edges, those are all scoots. Um, and she's finally starting to come out a little bit to see everybody. So you can see her head just a little bit. So we'll talk about some of the anatomy of her head, which includes her eyes. Um, a lot of times people think the turtles don't see very well, but they can actually see color, pattern, and shape. So they have pretty good eyesight. Um, they also have a pretty good sense of smell. So you can see her nose right above her beak. So her beak is her mouth, and that's what she uses to help tear apart all of her food so that she's able to eat, and it's pretty sharp so that she can tear things apart. Um, and a lot of times people think that turtles can't hear, and that's because they don't have big floppy ears like we do. They actually have an internal ear called a tympanum. So it's similar to a drum. They're ear is actually a canal in their head that's covered by a membrane and it's similar to a drum that has a piece of canvas stretched across it so whenever you hit it that's what causes the sound that's also how they hear um, 
she's starting to poke out her feet just a little bit. This is a terrestrial turtle, so she has pretty sharp claws to help her get around. But um, aquatic turtles would have more webbed feet, so their anatomy is a little bit different to help them swim better. These guys actually can't swim, so they don't have those adaptations that help them in the water. They would actually sink to the bottom, so they don't have webbed feet because they're not going to get in very deep water. And then the last part of the anatomy that we'll discuss is the little bitty tail. You can barely see hers poking out right there in the back. And males typically have a longer, thicker tail, while females have a shorter, thinner tail. So if you see some turtles, you can kind of decide if you think it's male or female. So that was just basically a little bit of a basic anatomy of um, turtles. And we have had a great time with you here at Discovery Park of America. If you would like to follow along with um, our turtle anatomy, we do have a document at our website at discoveryparkofamerica.com under our virtual World Turtle Day post, where you can print off this document and test your knowledge on turtle anatomy.